Okay, I receive a question from Steve on my blog. He asked me, I find this really useful. So I guess he was talking about Solid Edge. But if I use, for example, 281.7 using the absolute function, it should return 281.7. Yeah, that's logic. But Solid Edge using this formula is rounding it to 282. So the absolute feature or absolute function should return the absolute number. Why is it rounding it off? So first let's look at the absolute feature or absolute function. So let's create a variable named this and let's go with 281.7 so that's the value for that variable. If I create a formula for this one so I can create the absolute formula and use the same number 281.7 to return the positive value and it didn't round round up, round up anything so let's try if I put a negative inside in front or inside the parenthesis it still returned me the positive value and nothing have been round up so if I create another variable to push this a little bit more so I want to create a formula that will be equal let's say 35 minus 40 well, 49 doesn't really matter so I got now a negative value and if I use that variable inside my absolute test 2 so I got 49 minus I want to extract the positive value so I put a, an absolute in front of this and it returned me 14 so that's okay so let's put this a little bit more complicated by say I don't know 0.27 so now it's 14.27 minus return the absolute value and it's a positive one with the same uh, decimal so nothing was round off. So how thing can be or have been round? So probably if you go to the solid edge application and you go to to to, to properties, file properties under unit, this is where you specify the precision. Sorry, this is where you specify the precision for the the number. <laughs> The other way of doing this, it's probably if you associate uh, a dimension to something. So uh, I didn't prepare this, but uh, let's go with uh, something straight if I can make it work. And I place a dimension here. So that's 31 something. So I'll put it, move this on the side. So it's still 31 something and if this is used in a formula say 35 uh, let's put it in front so that will be linear underscore 2 minus 35 so that will be minus something and nothing was round off the value it's the same but for this dimension if I look at this dimension it's used the ISO style so if I go to my style dimension and ISO under modify under unit I can specify how, how I want to round off the value so that's one possible solution and also when I look at the dimension itself it is round off to 2 so I could decide to round off to 1 so now we'll have just one dimension but remember the um, part itself it's set to have two decimal points so if I go to properties file properties under unit I want to work with one decimal point say OK and now I'm working with one decimal point and everything will be run off based on whatever you have decided. 
So this is probably one reason why the value that Steve used was round off. So hope it helped answer the question. If not, so just leave a comment and I will do my best to answer it. Thank you.